Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Majerakan and today I have the full Zezebo no Shima easter egg guide for you. So your very first step is before the game actually starts. You want to make sure you have the Anywhere But Here Gobble Gum, as you'll need that to access a room during the easter egg, so if you don't have that on then go ahead and make sure you have it on the Gobble Gum kit. So once you've set up your Gobble Gums, you're going to need to build both the Skeleton Subway and the Masamuni. If you do not know how to do either one of these, then there will be links in the description below. But assuming you're at this point, then the first official step of the easter egg is to come down to this room with all the body bags. There is a small room in the corner with the purple irradiated water. On the wall of the room there is a torn poster and you need to mesmerise that with the skull and subway until it reveals the rest of the poster. You will also at some point need to mesmerise the wall next to the elevator as well to reveal the back of the elevator as this entire easter egg revolves around fixing this elevator to then go down below. Ok so by this point you have one objective which is to collect all three cogs around the map. The first cog is simply achieved by using the anywhere but here gobble gum. It should teleport you to a room above power room A, there is a cog on the floor, simply pick it up and you are a third of the way there. To get your second cog, use the lightning to electrify your shield. Go all the way to the zip line, either side will work. In co-op, one of you needs to take the zip line and the other player needs to stand on the other end and smack the control panel once you are above the ledge below, causing the player to fall off. On solo, you need to electrify the control panel first and then take the zip line and press all buttons in your controller until you drop down on the ledge below. Do be careful as you can fall into the water and lose everything. Your cog is on the ledge where you drop. While you're doing these two steps, I would advise you to be working towards this step. To make sure you have as many seeds as you can, start planting your seeds around the map and you also need the blue irradiated water. Plant your seed, water your seed and then shoot the seed with the Masamuni. Do this for the next three rounds until the pod is ready to be opened. After a few tries you'll get this anti-aircraft bullet. Pick it up and go over to the area in the bunker with the KN-44 wall by and the anti-aircraft gun. Once here you'll need to load the gun and you should hear this noise. Once you hear that, then wait for the plane to come across the sky. When it's in line, hold square on the gun. Spam square on the gun as it can be a little bit unresponsive, but you should be able to get it to shoot. The plane will have debris flying off of it and one of the pieces is the cog. I couldn't see it that well because by the time I'd looked up it had already flown off, so try your best to look out for that. Now all you need to do is look where it landed. I've seen it land in three different locations, one outside the bunker to the left, one outside of the power area A, and one where we had it in this game which was outside the back power area B. I don't know if there's any other areas for this to land, but it's smoking which makes it a lot easier to find. Once you got the third cog, you're almost ready to go to the fight. Make sure at this point that you have your shield to help you, all the perks that you need and the gas mask is a must. It's pivotal that you have the gas mask because if you don't then when you go down below you will suffocate and die. Assuming you're all ready to go, go behind the elevator and place the cogs down to fix it. Then go into the elevator and cool it down. You'll arrive down below. With your Masamuni, shoot these yellow spores to clear the way. You'll then enter the main room. From here your objective is to shoot the big vine monster once his vines have the yellow spores on the show. Unfortunately, my game application crashed at this point and stopped the livestream in the process. But my friend was able to stay in the game and finish off the easter egg solo. Meaning that I didn't quite get all the gameplay but once I disconnected there was only about 2 minutes left of the battle. It's a very quick battle and much easier than Dirt Eisendracker. Once you finish this you will see a cutscene and you will receive your trophy. You will also be awarded with a perkaholic and at the end of the easter egg you will also be getting 5000 XP. I hope this guide helped you out, if it did then please make sure to leave a like rating and comment down below. Remember that links to everything else will be in the description below if you get stuck on building the wonder weapons or anything else. Subscribe for more Zombies content and as always guys, I'll see you next time. Peace out.